Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, we will see what an identity matrix is. We will also try and use this ident identity matrix and uh, try to solve some simple uh, example problems. So, what is an identity matrix? That is the question we have. To answer that, we, we, want, to, we want to say that in any square matrix, when the main diagonals have ones and zeros elsewhere, those types of matrices are called identity matrix. So let me define that. Let me state that with an example. Okay. So if I is an identity matrix, I'll call that as I1, for example. And it has just one row and one column. The size of this identity matrix is one by one. It has one row and one column. So that is a square matrix. Let's say we have another identity matrix, I2. I, I1 means it has one row, one column. I2 means it has two rows, two columns. One, zero, zero, one. It has two rows and two columns like that. It is, it is a two by two matrix. It is a square matrix and along the diagonals we have ones and elsewhere we have all we have zeros like that let's take a another example let's say i3 i3 is an identity matrix and then in here we will have ones along the main diagonal that is 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 0 1 so in here along the main diagonal we have ones and Elsewhere, above and below the main diagonal, all the uh, rest of the elements are all zeros. So this is a 3x3 three three matrix, which means it has 3 rows and 3 columns. It has 3 rows and 3 columns. And then a, an identity matrix can be of any size. And if we were to say, if I have an identity matrix of uh, n by n, n rows and n columns, we can write that as follows 1 0 0 all the way to 0 and then 0 1 0 all the way to 0 and then 0 0 1 all the way to 0 and then 0 0 all the way to 1 like that so this has this is a n by n, n by n matrix, and this is an identity matrix. As long as there are ones along the main diagonal, and then zeros above and below the main diagonal, those types of matrices are defined as ident identity matrix. Now, there are some properties related to identity matrix. So let us see what those properties are. Let me write here properties properties of identity matrix identity matrix and what are the properties we need to know though some of the properties we need to know are as follows if a is a matrix if a is a matrix of size m by n then some of the properties related to identities can be defined as follows one if if we take matrix a and then multiply that by an identity matrix it is not going to change the any of the elements of that matrix a it is going still going to remain the same let me explain this with an example example let's say a is a matrix which has elements 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay? And then I2 is an identity matrix where it has ones along the main diagonal and it, it is a 2 by 2 matrix like that. And then it has ones along the main diagonal. And if we wait to multiply these two out, and that is what we're trying to see, that is what this property is telling us. If we take a, if we were to take the main matrix and multiply it with, with a identity matrix, the result is going to be the same matrix. It is not going to change that. So we take 1, 2, 
3, 4 and then multiply it out by 1, 0, 0, 1. So therefore here 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 0 is 0. Then 1 times 0 is 0, 2 times 1 is 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 4 times 0 is 0. 3 times 0 is 0 and then 4 times 1 is 4. So as you can see here we have 1 plus 0 is 1, 0 plus 2 is 2, 3 plus 0 is 3, 0 plus 4 is 4. So the property is true, the property is correct. So when we have a, a, a matrix, a square matrix and if we wait to multiply by an identity matrix of the same size then the resulting matrix will be the same as the original matrix which we are which we are multiplying to the identity identity matrix let's look at another example let us look at another property in this property if let me write this in red and then we'll come back and then um, follow it up with a simple example if a is a matrix if a is a square matrix I'll call that uh, yeah a, a is let me write this a is a square matrix a is a square matrix and then for repeated multiplication we can follow we can use the following properties for then for repeated repeated multiplication repeated multiplication we can write this as follows a if we have matrix a to the power of 0 that means it is same as matrix a if we have a matrix a to the power of 1 that means it is same as matrix a Um, if we have, let me, there is a small correction here. If there is a to the power of 0, this will be the same as the identity matrix of that size n. If a to the power of 0 is a 2 by 2 matrix, then it is going to be, um, it, it is going to be a, uh, an identity matrix in, in, in 2 by 2. a to the power of 1 is a and then a to the power of 2 we can write this as a times a and then a to the power of 3 we can write as a to the power of 2 times a and then a to the power of k we can write this as a times a times a times all the way to a k like that okay and then we also have we also have powers like this if we have a to the power of j and then times a to the power of k the exponential properties work here as well then we can write this one as a to the power of j plus k and then if we have a to the power of j this whole thing is raised to another power if an exponent is raised to another exponent we can write this one out as a to the power of j times k as as we can see here some of the exponential properties are applicable in in this matrix operations as well so these are some of the properties related to identity matrix and then we will use these identity matrix to solve some simple examples in my next presentation.